Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Yo, what's up, everybody? So for today, as you guys can already tell by the title of the video, we're going to be comparing dab pens versus weed, and I'm going to be giving my own opinion and thoughts on which I think is better. But I do have to get some stuff to make this video, and I guess Dizzy just launched their new delivery service, which is supposed to get to me in under an hour so I'm gonna go ahead and test that out all right and we're back with the goodies right here and legitimately within I think it was like 35 minutes the dude literally texted me telling me that he was outside my door so that right there might be the fastest delivery service that I've ever had it's actually pretty cool to see something like that honestly the only other big name company that I know that's doing like delivery services like this once a month is 710 labs and now the fact that you can get stizzy literally delivered directly to your door pretty freaking dope man and it's all of this Dizzy products right I know some delivery services out there might not have all of the products that someone might want but this right here they literally have every single thing that I could possibly think of all right quick rundown of what I ended up getting I ended up getting three different concentrates right here a sack of their new flour that comes in the mylar bags and then I got the rosin pod and then last but not least a cheeky little pre-roll now that we got all of our supplies it's time to break into the video dab pens versus weed which is better which gets you more stoned which lasts longer I'm pretty much gonna answer all of the questions that I think are worth answering or at least the most important ones all right guys so without further ado if you're new to the channel let me go ahead and welcome you to subscribe to the channel join the family and also hit that thumbs up button real quick to break the algorithm I'm gonna bust open into this dizzy solvent list pod right here that's kush cake but the first key points that I'm gonna be getting into is gonna be the most important factor I guess for at least a lot of people because I know it is for me and it's gonna be the overall effects so I personally dig the effects more that I get off of weed as opposed to dab pens just because of the fact that I really feel that the flower just gives me an overall better entourage effect I feel like it gives me a more relaxing high and I feel like with dab pens although you get a really really good quick high that's all that it really is it's kind of quick at least for me from what I've experienced Experience. It's kind of a high that only lasts you maybe 30 minutes to an hour before you have to start hitting your pot again And it's kind of more of a like a quick smack you in your face high as opposed to weed That's like a gradual process You kind of have to give it a couple of minutes before it sinks in and before you feel the full effects As opposed to the dab pen where it's literally just boom smack you in your face and you're feeling that full-on blastedness I got the pot on the stizzy FTP battery that I don't even think they have anymore it was a very limited collab and lucky enough for me I was able to get my hands on this but yeah let's go ahead and smack one real quick hit in I'm already starting to feel it but you know with that high feeling I feel like it's usually mostly with like maybe like live resins and distillates but when it comes down to solventless pods you do get that nice little entourage effect that I get similar to weed but aside from that most of the things that are out on the market right now which is going to be like distillate is just going to be a quick high that's only really going to last maybe like 30 minutes to an hour so the next thing that I'm going to be talking about is the overall discreetness now I'm pretty sure most of you already know which is going to be the more discreet one but if you didn't know it's going to be this one right here when it comes down to pods or cartridges or whatever it is the dab pens literally just don't smell at all they might smell for a couple of seconds but as soon as you air it out it's not even going to smell at all as opposed to when you're burning weed that smell is literally just going to reek so hard that someone is going to be able to smell that from down the block not only that but i feel like when it comes down to weed the smoke just lingers around a lot more as opposed to the vapor production from the dab pens that literally just kind of dissipates in a couple of seconds and then it's like it's not even there to be quite honest so the dab pen definitely wins when it comes down to discreteness the next big thing that I think we should talk about in this video is gonna be the longevity of these two right so let's say that I have an eighth of flour and then let's say that I have a one gram dissolute pod or whatever the case is 510 thread cartridge whatever your preference is me 
personally, I do feel like a 3.5 is only gonna last me at most two to three days. I personally can't make flour stretch longer than two to three days, but when it comes down to the dab pens right here, I definitely feel that I can make them stretch out at least a one gram pod, a good maybe a week, even more than a week, sometimes even less. It just all really depends on how I chief it, but I can definitely make a dab pen last way longer than I can make a 3.5 last me. Dude, this Kush Cake Solventless is top tier. I'm definitely gonna have to make a review on this. But the next subject that I'm gonna be touching base on is cost efficiency. What cost efficiency pretty much is, is just how much usage you're getting out of what you paid for. In my personal opinion, having to re-up every two to three days on a brand new eighth just to keep up with my you know, smoking habit really isn't cost efficient for me. But when it comes down to the dab pens, there are a lot more cost efficient because like I said earlier on in the video I can literally make a one gram pod it lasts me easily over five days six days sometimes even over a week and then that means that I don't have to be spending so much money within a short period amount of time at the end of the day the dab pen is definitely gonna save you more money in the long term you're gonna be having to buy less of them and who doesn't like to save some money right so the last topic that I'm gonna be talking about is gonna be what's easier to to use out of the two and that's gonna be a no-brainer for me I definitely think that the pod system or I mean the dab pen system as a whole is just gonna be easier to use because literally all it is is just grabbing your pod grabbing your cartridge slapping it on the battery and it's literally ready to go as simple as that especially when it comes with the proprietary batteries you don't have to be fiddling with the variable wattages everything is ready and set to go as opposed to the flower I mean it is still kind of easy to you know smoke flour all you have to do is maybe just get a pipe get some papers crush it up and then just burn it but it is a little bit more of a tedious and longer process at the end of the day as opposed to this that you could literally just grab the pod slap it on the battery and you're ready to go at the end of the day if you're not really worrying about the smell if you're not really worrying about being discreet if you're not worrying about how easy it is to use or how frequently you have to go buy it then definitely I would say personally for me that I definitely definitely like flour overall better just because I feel like the effects are better and I just feel like it's a lot more natural as opposed to going with the dab pen but at the same time dab pens definitely come in clutch I mean literally I could just grab this bad boy pick it up and smack a quick blinker off of it and be baked so these things definitely come in clutch all right nonetheless but at the end of the day I want to know what your guys' opinions and thoughts are throughout this video who do you guys think wins this versus battle the flour or the freaking dab pen let me know down in the comments below i'm out for today if you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to hit that like button comment and most importantly subscribe to the channel we'll catch you guys on tomorrow's video